very important question for you. Did you ever buy an eyeshadow palette and you were so excited about it and then you get it, you maybe use it once or twice, you find that you're completely disappointed in it, you're not getting any looks out of it that you enjoy or that you enjoyed as much as you had hoped you would. So then you just put it aside and it goes and collects dust for who knows how long in a cupboard or a bookshelf and you just never pick it up again. So I had this idea for this series that is pretty much a precursor to what I will do for my palette declutters. And I know that a lot of you are interested in watching palette declutters and I know some of you hate them. So I thought that this could be maybe an interesting way to kind of step into that instead of just doing the straight palette declutter, I want to give these palettes of mine that I either decided I do not like or that I just don't pick up another chance before they actually leave my home and move on to a better place, hopefully. So I'm going to call it on the chopping block because these are palettes that are, you know, they're on their way out. I thought that the best thing I could do is maybe let you guys choose which one I start with and what I will do for this series every time that I have time to do something with this series. I will maybe do one look on each eye with the palettes that are in question. Give them each two more chances before I decide yes, I'm getting rid of it, or no, I'm gonna keep it. And then when this is all done and we've gone through all of these palettes, uh, then I'll do like the real declutter video, like the, the more traditional kind of declutter. So, but let's just give these babies another chance because they, they are just sitting there doing their thing, being palettes. They have no idea what is coming. So I figured, you know what? Let me give them another chance and see what happens. Maybe my mind will change. Maybe I will discover greatness among them and I won't be able to believe that I ever had it on the chopping block to go. So with that said, all right, the palettes. I do have a stack of palettes right in front of me right now. So I'm just gonna show them to you and you guys can just let me know which ones you're most interested in seeing me do this series with. I mean, I'm, I'll do it with all of them, but like, what do you wanna see first? You know? Okay, so first one, ColourPop Mar. It does look like this. All right, second one, ColourPop again, Soul. And this one looks like this. All right. Third one, ColourPop once again, they're not all ColourPop, I promise. They're, there's definitely a mixture of some brands in here. ColourPop again, proceed with caution. This one looks like this. I, I love ColourPop. I love ColourPop neutral palettes. However, this one I never really reach for. So I figured hmm, I might be ready to let it go. Okay. Now, here we have another brand. <laughs> All right, this is Milani. Oh man, that's such a blinding thing. This is the Pure Passion Palette. Uh, once again, another Milani. I'm not gonna even try to show you the front of the palette because it's gonna just be Shine City. Uh, this is the Bold Obsessions Palette. Back to ColourPop, <laughs> briefly. And then we'll go on to something else again. Uh, the ColourPop Dream Street. This is a Kathleen Lights collab. And I never reach for it. Ever. ColourPop. Yes, please. I debated on putting this even in my... In this video. Because the thing is, this one is very similar to the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. And... I don't know about you guys, but if I have a, what is this, $12 palette, a $12 palette, and a hundred and some dollar palette, which palette 
am I going to reach for? I mean, to, uh, it, it's just, yeah, I'm going to reach for Natasha, even if the colors are the same and the, you know, I'm just going to reach for Natasha. So I don't know if this one even belongs in here. I might just be ready to just let this one go. Um, Colourpop again, so sorry. There's a lot of color. I have a lot of Colourpop palettes. Uh, Colourpop Main Squeeze. This one is their red palette. So, let me know if you think that's one I should start with. Now we have another brand, all right? Uh, some of you might be like, what are you doing, Robin? What are you doing? Why? Why? But Anastasia Soft Glam. I never reach for this. This is the formula that I don't particularly care for of Anastasia. So, um, I love the colors though. Honestly, I, I truly do. So this one is, uh, it's why I haven't gotten rid of it yet because I do love the colors. So let's see, maybe, maybe I can change my own mind by using it again. And we have Too Faced Semi Sweet. This one I have sort of, I don't know, it's like a sentimental attachment to this palette, which is probably the only reason I haven't let, let it go, but I never use it, like ever, so I don't know. I might just keep this just because I do have the sentimental attachment and then just leave it at that. Uh, the next one, all right. This one, the Nabla, what is this called? Nabla Secret palette, the Nabla Secret. And it looks like so. I mean, they are pretty colors too. I can't deny that they are pretty colors, but I don't know, I never use it. And I did actually have really, a really, really bad experience with it. However, when I think of that bad experience, it was, I believe it was my son's graduation day. So, I mean, it was already an emotional day for me and I might've just been a little bit too stressed out to be dealing with a formula that I wasn't particularly used to, even though I do have some Nabla I do have another novel palette. Uh, but yeah, it might have been, it might have just been a case of maybe I shouldn't have used this palette that day that I used it. But I haven't picked it up since that day. So it's on the chopping block and I don't know, maybe, maybe this series will change my mind. There it is one more time. Okay, and then I, do, I did keep the little sleeve for it. Not that that matters for this video at all. Uh, the Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Rustic Glam Palette. I think I hold on to this one because I really like the packaging. That's a really dumb reason to hold on to something, right? But it's, I don't know, it's just really pretty to me. Uh, this one I have made, I know I've made one look that I really liked with it, and I know I've made a few looks that I didn't like at all with it. So... I don't know. That one's on the chopping block too. Uh, this next one, I don't know if it belongs in this video again because I'm pretty sure that it doesn't matter if I can make a good look with this palette. I think I wanna get rid of it. Uh, the Latte 2 palette also by Dominique Cosmetics. Um, the scent nauseates me so bad and I think if you follow me on Instagram, you already know how I feel about this palette. I really, really do not like it. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I should give it another chance. It's up to you guys. If you guys want to see me give it another chance, I will. And then last but not least, the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm palette. Which looks like this. Um, I did create a look that I really liked with this, but it just I was just largely unimpressed with it so I don't know if you guys want to see me work that one out and see if I can come up with something that makes me want to keep it I'll keep it but at the end of this series it's uh, like everything will be a yes or no a definitive yes or no yes I'm keeping or no I am getting rid of it and there will be no question in my mind after I put these palettes through the paces again to see how I actually feel about them. But I thought it might be nice to, you know, give a second chance to some of these palettes because, you know, I spent my money, so I don't really want to just 
let them go, give them away, if there's a chance I might actually really enjoy them. And if I do really enjoy them, great. Then that's, that's what the whole point of this series is. So with that, I don't know, just let me know down below in the comments which palette you would like me to see, <laughs> sorry, which palette you would like to see me try again next, like the next one. I'll go through all of these, but which one do you wanna see the most? Like which one, maybe are you having trouble with the same palette or were you just interested in that palette and you wanna see what the issues are with it or you know, that sort of thing. Just let me know and we will start this series off with a bang. I'm gonna call it on the chopping block and I'm really excited about it because this is a series that I thought of, you know, without seeing somebody else do it. So I am excited that it's my own series. Anyway, that's it, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one.